Good morning, happy Sunday. I believe it's like the 29th or the 30th of August. I haven't looked yet today, but I'm here at the river, the Wishclaw, coffee, camera in hand, ready to go. I came down yesterday morning for about an hour and a great brew here in GBH for short. Um, landed about, well, I don't know if you can see, but like right there <laughs> and, uh, surprised the hell out of me. I did get a shot, which I'll, um, I got several shots, but I got one shot that I really like. I was kind of bummed I didn't get more close up shots, but he kind of like scooted right here in front of the reeds on the banks in front of me and then realized I was there and eyeballed me for about two minutes and I tried not to move but I sneezed literally which was kind of funny and he flew across the river and I got a video of him catching a fish which I'll attach with this as well um so I've been doing a lot of thinking oh also the kingfisher's been taunting me that's gonna be a whole thing from now on it doesn't matter where I go around here I mean, I went way over to the Chehalis River the other day, um, over to where the osprey nest is, down the road here, um, where else? Bowerman to the airport where I, car, where I take photos in the basin there. Another car. Why I hate this spot. Um, and, uh, the kingfishers, there, there's one right above me right now. Every time they land within shooting distance, because I have a decent camera, um, it's always just out of my zoom range. And I'm dying to get a really nice, clear picture of one. So that's my other challenge. I, my osprey challenge is going great. I'll... I'm working on them constantly. I don't want to upload a bunch of haphazardly edited videos. So I'm working on organizing myself and um, figuring out what's worth posting and what's not. So uh, yeah, that's where I'm at. Anyway, I wanted to share my other little spot here. I've shared a few of my river spots. I don't think I've ever taken video at this one here. Yes, camera ready. Um, because it seems like I get surprised when I sit in this spot. There's a tree, which I don't think you can see. There's a down tree in the river. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, sorry. Right there. And it kind of blocks me from being seen, sort of, a little bit. I'm not sure if it works or not, but it seems like it. I mean, obviously a heron landed 15 feet in front of me yesterday so crossing fingers anyway i am at the ready to take some photos there's that thing he just went by in the video he does that to me i don't know if you saw that or not but that was one of the kingfisher couldn't tell if it was the male or the female but son of a bleep all the time. That's what he does. I think kingfishers were put on this earth to taunt me. <laughs> video real quick. I was sitting here right there and it got pretty quiet, not much going on and all of a sudden I was
was looking at my photos, kind of just going through what I got. This tree right here. You can see the, the rivers down here under it. Mother flippin' kingfisher was sitting right under me, right here, out of view because this holly bush and I don't know, that looks like scotch broom or something, was in my way. It was right here. He was sitting right here. Don't know how long for. Dove into the river and caught a fish right under my nose. Stinker. And I want to use worse words than that. Ugh. I don't know if you can see that. Well, they're going to fly away. There's a couple of vultures. Oops. I got to figure out this new camera. Oh, sorry. I'm figuring it out. I'm figuring it out. I have to hold the button down. Ah. And then... oh, it's super blurry because it won't focus when the birds are moving. But yeah, there's a couple of vultures been circling most of the morning. Pretty cool. Dang it. I need to fix the settings on this. Anyway, I had to share how that little bleeper was right under my nose. I'm telling you. You torture me. Peace out. Okay, anyway. Um I can't even remember what I was thinking about now because I'm so pissed that he flew by in front of my camera. Although, you might have been able to see him. We'll see. I am recording in HD. <laughs> really happy with the new phone. I don't know if I went into super detail about my phone debacle. I dropped my phone in Walmart. I think I did. I, I discussed that because my butt was screaming at people and seeing the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12 thing. I forgot. 10. But... And um, replaced it with the Moto Z4. That was screwing up the video. Upgraded from that to a uh, Motorola Edge, which I loved, actually. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I loved that. So, had it for almost a week. Car. And the screen started messing up like it was getting these striations in the screen it was almost like it was burning across the screen throughout the day it would look fine in the morning and then by the end of the day you couldn't see anything it was taking great photos and video the video quality i thought on it was amazing i'm pretty sure i posted a couple or at least one <clears throat> excuse me from that so now i have an lg v60 Thin Q, which I think they thought, I thought it would think, you know, think, I don't know. Anyway, I like calling it the think. So I'm really happy with it. I did a bunch of research, which I think I already mentioned, and I watched, I did some more last night, and wow, this camera has amazing capabilities if you take it off of auto shot, um, auto everything, and actually use the manual settings. So I'm super excited about that. I've been taking a bunch of test photos and kind of end photos with this um, in comparison. And I don't think I've ever really talked about my camera much either, so I'll kind of go into that. I'm trying not to make these videos too long. Um, I have a Nikon Coolpix B600. I wish it was a D600, but I couldn't afford one. So I went with the B600, and I'm actually, I, I really am happy with the shots I'm getting from it. However, I didn't discover this. I didn't research enough. I was just really excited. I had the money to get a camera. I picked the best one I could afford, I think. And um, I'm a little bummed because it has far fewer manual capabilities. It's basically a point and shoot, but it has a ton of presets on it. So I frequently use the sport setting, the birding setting, and then you can go in and like fix the ISO and shutter speed, things like that. So I'm figuring out all the little nuances, how you can work with um, the presets and at the same time have control. I just heard something crunching in the woods behind me. 
anyway, um, I'm figuring out how you can work with it and kind of treat it as a manual um, camera, but in the same respect, I, I'm pretty new at this, so it's nice to have a point and shoot. I just don't typically like the, the regular uh, open camera. I, don't, I, I like dinking with the, the presets, the manual presets, because each one has its own little nuances you can change. So it's interesting. Um, anyway, I sport, they, it actually has a birding mode, which I've had really good luck with. Um, although, not gonna lie, my, my big thing, which is my fault, I've dropped it. And now when I take video and it's really quiet, which you'll see, because I'll post the video I took yesterday of the hare and catching the fish, you can hear it internally auto-focusing, like focusing in and out. And it sounds like a creaking door, kind of, which was pretty funny when I took the video, you'll see. As the heron was like moving and doing its thing in front of me right here, it was making this creaking noise and I couldn't figure out where it came from. And then I finally figured out later last night, car, that it's my camera. I could hear it internally going. So I'm kind of sad about that. So I'm going to have to be extra, extra, extra careful, even though these are supposed to be pretty tough. Apparently I'm a klutz. Not apparently, it's true. So where am I at here? Oh, shout. Eight minutes. Okay. That's it. Happy Sunday. I'm going to throw this together really quick when I get home because I'm getting better at editing. Jeez, it took me four hours the other day to edit that last video. And then when I uploaded it, I thought it got messed up. And anyway, long story short, it uploaded. It was fine. It was a little dreary though. I'm going to try not to post any more dreary videos. Um, I'm going to keep it on the upbeat side, which I am for the most part. <laughs> I was just having kind of a bummy day. So probably not going to take any more bummy day videos. <laughs> Um, so I've had a great weekend. I hope you guys have too. I'm going to get out of here. I'll attach uh, the vid and a couple of shots for you. I'm working on a whole uh, bunch, a, a ton of stuff right now um, so that my quality and um, uh, uh, content, so that my content is more quality and less me just yakking. Although, you know, you guys are becoming my friends now. I like to talk a lot. <laughs> so here's to uh, uh, another great week coming up and hope you all had a great weekend. Pacific Northwest, peace out. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the bell, comment, like. If you're from Aberdeen or want to see something from Aberdeen, let me know um, or see something or have something you'd like to see highlighted or photos of. Let me know. Peace out.